yes friends how are you all today we are going to talk about dce in distributed system <coughs> distributed computing environment what distributed computing environment so our today's topic is dce dc <coughs> stands for distributed computing environment <coughs> see in network computing dce is an industry standard software technology for setting up and managing computing and data exchange in a system of distributed computers dc is typically used in a large network of computing system that includes different size servers scattered geographically okay dce uses the client server model <coughs> dce uses client server model okay <coughs> we have discussed earlier about client client and server model okay using dce application users can use applications and data at remote servers application programmers need not be aware of where their programs will run or where the data will be located okay much of dce setup requires the preparation of distributed directories so that dce application and related data can be located when are be when they are being used dc includes security uh, support and some implementations pro provide support for access to popular databases such as ibm cis cics ims and db2 databases dc was developed by osf dce was developed by osf you know uh, what is osf osf stands for open software foundation open <coughs> software foundation open software foundation <coughs> okay so dc was developed by the open software foundation using software technologies contributed by some of its member companies which is now popular called the open group D dc illustrates the relationship between rpc system and rpc system and distributed objects okay next uh, let's talk about features of dce features of dce right see uh, dce is middleware but dce is middleware okay dc is middleware that provides abstraction between existing network network object system and distributed object as the component of distributed application all right user can work on distributed application after installing dce on collection of machines without disturbing the existing non distributed applications next dc distributed by open group only provides source code for implementation most of the configuration is to be done by the vendor specific environment vendor can integrate dc information into their system <coughs> all communication between client and server is part of dce rpc model but all communication between client and server
इस पार्ट ऑफ इस पार्ट ऑफ डी सी ई आर पी सी मॉडल डी सी ई आर पी सी मॉडल RPC remote procedure call okay we discussed earlier about RPC so service available to client is part of DCE and rest belongs to speci specific application implemented at server end okay now uh, a question comes in the examination that uh, what do you mean by DCE uh, what are the feature uh, what are the features of DCE and one more thing what are the services of dce so uh, next heading is that dce services okay see uh, first service uh, dfs distributed distributed file service distributed file service distributed file service okay hmm see it refers to world wide file system that provides a transparent way of accessing the file in the system in same way as if it were at same location okay next directory service directory service it is used to keep track location of uh, virtual resources in the distro system these resources include uh, file printer server scanner and other machines and other machines this service promotes sorry this service uh, prompts the user to ask for resources and provides them with convenience processes are an Uh, processes are unaware of actual location of the resource okay next security next security service see only authorized person can access to the protected secure resources security service allows process to check user for authenticity okay next distributed time service distributed time service see inter process communication between distributed system components requires synchronization so that communication takes place in the designated order only this service is responsible for maintaining a global clock and has and hence synchronizing the local clocks with this notion of time okay so these were the services of dce uh, first distributed file service second directory service third security service and fourth distributed time service okay next uh, let's talk about uh, uh, goals of dce rpc goals of dce rpc see the first point is that client can access a remote service by simply calling a local procedure hence client program is written in a simple way okay second point is that large volume of distributed application code is executed in distributed environment with the support of rpc next 
RPC system governs the working by hiding the details from client. RPC system can locate the server and subsequently set up the communication between the client and server. Hence, binding is achieved. Next, RPC system can automa RPC system can automatically handle data type conversion and hide the heterogeneity between client and server for dis for different architecture and implementations. Or uh, one goal we uh, we can see that uh, RPC system can handle bi-directional masses transport service, hence fragmenting and uh, dissembling the masses on demand. Okay, so uh, this so this is the this is all about DCE distributed computing environment. Okay, if question comes uh, in the examination. First of all, we have to define the DCE. Okay. Next, we have to tell the features of DCE. Next, we have to tell the DCE services. Okay. And we have to tell about the goals of DCE and RPC. Okay. And we can also tell about the RPC, remote procedure call. Okay. So, friends, uh, it was all about uh, DCE, distributed computing environment. Thank you. Thank you very much.